And let's talk about the uh, men who think that their woman is supposed to shape, make, hold, and mold them. Let's talk about these men who think that the woman, their woman that they're with. It's like, yo, I'm with this girl, you know what I'm saying? My woman, you know, whatever, I love her, she loves me or whatever. But, you know, like, I got, I smoke a lot. And I'm just like, yo, if she would just spend more time with me, I wouldn't smoke so much. So, really, that's on her. You got to help me stop smoking. You got to help me stop drinking. You got to help me feel good about myself. Help me you stay out of help jail. help me stay out of trouble. You got to help keep me. You need to keep me off the streets. If you was at my house, I wouldn't be on. I wouldn't have no time to be on the streets. Unbelievable. You need to go back into the womb. Because obviously over. you're not finished. Or kill yourself. He could do that too. But these men who think that the woman is supposed to uplift him every day. She's supposed to be like rubbing you a slave. That's some 12 years a slave. That's some 12 years a slave. Years slave stuff. And ain't nobody got time to be patsy. Not up in here, not around these parts. That's some 12 years of slave stuff. I ain't got time for it. You want, you You're want, so weak and so incapable that you need a woman to rear you. Rub my head. To rear rub you. Rub my stomach. Make me feel good. Listen, get out my face. If you need somebody to help shape, make, and mold you, you need to get saved and call on Jesus. Thank you. Okay? And if you're not trying to get saved, then you need to go back home and cuss out your mother and your father <laughs> who did not do the job that they should have done, which is make you the man that you're supposed to be. Because I ain't got time to raise you. Y'all know what Kay Michelle said, man. Mm -hmm. she, she said something that I've been saying for years. Can't raise me. Okay? But that the thing He's is, with, already grown world. What you gonna do? But what she messed up at is he ain't a man. Mm -hmm. If he's leaning so hard on some woman, because even and if, everybody like you need your crutches. Like yes, the man you hold up your woman, woman you hold up your man. But this is equal balance. There are things. First of all, if you are not whole as a person, you need to not be with nobody. First of all, you, know saying? Everybody, you have to at least have a foundation. Exactly. And if this if said man doesn't even have a foundation to build upon, get out my face. Or if now he this, has a foundation, but he's not teachable? Yeah. And there you go. My husband, like he had his foundation. Great man. You know, but there were certain things I had to put in there. You got to always kind of train your man into the man you want him to be so that y'all okay. Certain things he may do that you don't like. Uh, don't do that. Uh, don't do that here. Have this. Have that. Keep that. Okay, but he had the foundation and his house was halfway built. He also was teachable. So when I told him something, the windows were open so he could yeah, hear what the windows saying. were open. He accepted it and then he shut them windows when that information went in. He kept it. Okay, so he was willing to hear and, and take in the information that I was giving him, especially if it's good information. If I'm your woman and I love you and you love why me, would I why are you beefing with anything I say to you? It shouldn't be a fight. If I'm your woman, you love I'm not me. I'm trying to hurt you out here. If you're, I'm your woman, you love me, and you know I love you, and you know that I'm a good girl, and you know it, why are you beefing when I'm giving you the information that I have that can help you and us along the way? Teachable. Be teachable. Okay? And, and he would soak up stuff I said, and that helped him become the man that he needed to be. Okay? But there was a foundation. House halfway built. Windows in place. Exactly. Okay? You can't be doing that for these dudes that don't have half a house and don't exactly. even have a foundation. And just the, the ability to They be don't able, have anything. They don't submit late. <laughs> but even just the ability to be able to take in some type of, not even criticism, but I guess. You got to have a foundation to be able to take in some but sort even, of not even advice. Criticism, yeah, advice or whatever. There has to be a foundation. That even, that even speaks on your connection. You know what I'm saying? Because if you can't take nothing from me, then that means that we're not really here. Like you think we are. That's what that means. Yeah. That means that you don't have if enough trust in me or vice versa to even take what I'm trying to say to you and not take it as a negative. Yeah. Every time I say something, you got a problem with it as if I'm trying to hurt you. No, them the fools in the street trying to hurt you. The ratchet hoes you trying to cake on trying to hurt you. And then you got someone who's a good girl and you know it and you want to fight. You want to fight her tooth Just and nail. Just because your pride. Oh, that's the only thing you held on. Uh, and that's what most of these your men pride. have the issue. It's their pride. That won't let them take in the information. But you know what? They, they need to stop slipping up because they might come across a female like me with too much pride. And I'm like, oh, I'm only going to try to help you out but so many times. And then I'm done. Exactly. Okay. So if and, you if watch you, this... and if you beg me to stay, just know I'm going to let you know, like, you're not the only one because I can't stand you. 
And that does happen though. Eventually, you know, with all of the ugliness and the it's tired. and the the constantly trying to talk to this man and it going in one ear and out the other, then the woman then becomes bitter and she doesn't want to deal with you. And, and now she off. don't like you. She don't exactly. like you no more. And all she doing is waiting for her time to get gone. Yes. And then you may get like, mad. Oh, yeah, at that. like maybe he might tighten up. But so you I'll may, see, but really, I'm but, thinking. But you I'm may just get mad at that. But you ain't. You can't have nobody to blame but yourself because you did it to yourself and you did it to this woman. Wasted her time. It ain't nothing worse than wasting somebody's time. I can't stand that. Don't waste my time. Don't waste my time talking about can we go Dutch? <laughs> get out my face. Oh, uh, Dutch. I have friends who would pay exactly to take me out. So if some man came up to me talking about Dutch, Lord, thank you, Jesus, that it's never happened. I don't know what I would do. But that whole what what you bring to the table and I'm just trying to see what you coming with. You can't afford this relationship. You can't afford to be in a monogamous relationship because you can't afford. You're not ready to be the head of anything if you're that overly concerned with what this woman makes and what she brings to the table. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to say that, like, when a man and woman comes together, that both incomes would not be used to yeah, pay yeah, yeah, bills yeah, 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 and yeah. rent and all of that other stuff. What I'm saying, though, is no man should be that concerned with, okay, so what you bring, what you got going for you. You're so concerned with what type of job and all this other stuff she got going on. Fool, you shouldn't have to be asking those questions, though, truth be told. Because if you was in the right circles, you would know. It would be whatever. If you're, if you're in the circles that you should be in, you would know already what she got going on with her. That's true. So depending on what circle you're in, you know what I'm saying? If you in the, the hood circle, the, the, the circle of conforming, that's when you got to ask what she brings to the table. And you women who all you have to bring to the table is your food stamps, mm -hmm. your welfare check. Y'all need to go sit down. You need to go take your math fact. No, you need to get up and run to the nearest college or university or community college and sign the F up. You should, you ain't got no time to be dating either. Yeah. Unless, unless you just trying to date for the come up and the come up is not a meal. The come up is not here in the Bronx or in Harlem. The come up is somewhere in Miami. <laughs> and that's if you have a nice body. Yeah. If your body ain't right, if, I mean, whatever. Yeah, your the, face has to be okay. The come too. up is is at one of those industry parties, and if you're not that girl, then the come up is at the nearest college or military branch, dear. Yeah. Then you can talk about dating, but you should not be or bringing to the table school, no something. welfare check and no food stamps. Hmm. <sighs> hmm. And you're 9 out of 10, that's what these dudes do. <laughs> get out of my face. A lot of these dudes be like, you know, you caking on these girls who don't have a lot. Or the dude, the chicks who got, you know, kids and they buy their cells and stuff. And the little bit that you're giving is okay because they got other responsibilities Please, and other yeah. things they're dealing with in life. So what you don't do is not phasing them. You feel me? Because they got other responsibilities. And then you go to, and then they, these same dudes will try to deal with a female who maybe doesn't have those type of responsibilities and or she's more stable in life as far as financially. And you think she's supposed to accept the same crumbs that you dished out to the basic bride or to the woman who, to the young woman who has children. And so she can't, you know, she can't be focusing on, on that. Focusing spend time on, on yeah. focusing on your faults. You try to give this to the, to the, to the chick who, who has her ish together. You try to give her your crumbs and when she doesn't accept your crumbs, you're looking at her like she's crazy. She got six heads. What you talking about? Nobody's ever said this to me before. Well, you weren't dealing with me before. <laughs> oh my God. And I just get so mad when people get mad when you when you speak the truth to them and you tell them, oh, you that's because you've been dealing with them rats, them dirty rats. <laughs> they accept that. Because to me, there's only certain things that a real woman a woman who's about her business is not going to accept certain things. There's certain things that are not going to be accepted at all. And, and if you're offended, I'm sorry. Just press pause, go on to the next video. But the thing is, dirty rats accept, and when I say dirty, them hood rats, them basic broads, they accept 
certain things and certain treatment. They don't trip about this treatment because nine out of 10, they got the next dude on the side mm -hmm. or they're just okay with it. Cause they like, yo, well, I mean, at least he's doing this for me and he's doing that for me and I ride for him and they don't have, Thoughts of marriage and all that other stuff and, and being monogamous with someone in their mind, they could care less. They're okay with the game and how that game is being played. They like that game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because real talk, they on their fabish anyway because they working out so that in the summertime, mm -hmm. they can get that other dude and they can be showing their stomach and doing their thing. Yeah. You feel me? That game, you know, is, is one thing. But if you inter you you interested in somebody, you know, for, for something real... That's totally different. Those dudes who be, y'all be a part of that type of game, that type of lifestyle with those types of chicks. And then you try to skip over to a good girl, somebody who's about something, and you be confused because she's not accepting the trash you did with this one. But this apples and oranges. But yeah, and that, my thing is just like, all of this. Real, recognize this is, real. This is handmade. This is all custom made. It should be custom made. If you are coming to me with the same mentality, the same. You know, like I don't know the same game, repertoire, the same, the, yeah. same, the same, you know, the, the same, same thing script. that you were the doing. Same script. Yeah, for the other one, I'm like you. I, I'm not taking anything that you're saying serious, and I'm probably not even gonna say it to your face. I'm just gonna okay, <laughs> and I'm, but I'm not done. I'm not taking you seriously in any way, and I never will. And because each relationship should be custom made, okay? But Don't the thing come is, you gotta me. understand that wasn't a relationship to them. That was their chick. You know yeah. when they be like, "Yo, that's my chick," and yeah. they be having multiple chicks. Yeah. And you think that the way you handled your chicks, that you can handle a female that you're trying to approach in a serious way, that don't work. And then you so you so confused, and that's why I just hate dumb. I'm about to go ham. I'm about, I just hate dumb niggas. Like you, dumb, dumb, stupid, stupid idiot. Mm. I hate dumb niggas because it's like you can't even you can't even put those two together like this light is over here this light is over here you can't even bring them close together at all to try to understand and comprehend how stupid and the mistakes that you made and how you looking like a clown out here you dripping red paint all over the floor because you're so freaking foolish with your dumb ass. Oh God, it, it, it's 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 ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, because it's, it's real funny to me. And then those same dudes gonna be like, "Yo, so what you bring to the table, ma?" <laughs> Nigga, what table? You ain't got no table. For real, because nothing is show me your table and tell me what address it that is. That table at. better be uh taller than me. What address? Premium Co And oak. the thing is, and is it a home? Handcrafted. And I want to know, is it a home with your name on it? Is it your home, dear? Or is it your mother's? Asking me what I bring to the table. Or are you roommating with somebody? Asking me what I bring to the table. <laughs> How about you have a table first? Mm -hmm. Have a home with a table in your dining room, and then we'll talk about that. I ain't talking about nothing, though. What am I talking about? That, exactly. Nothing. It doesn't have anything to do with you. Yo, if you like hanging out with me, you like having a good time with me, that's, you know, that's cool. That means that we're friends or whatever. If you just like, oh, my goodness, I see the, the sunshine in you. You're doing beneath my wings. Okay, that's something else. But don't overstep your boundaries. Let me tell you something. When I went back to work, and my husband was never concerned with, like, he wasn't on some, so I mean, you know, blah, blah, blah. But the, the thing is, because of how we were, sometimes, I mean, when I first started working my checks, I just would hand it to him right here. And he'd, you know, take a picture of it, deposit it into the account, whatever. I mean, it wasn't about that. You feel me? But I guess when you have trust and when there's none of that nonsense going on, the whole Crazy. having other chicks and other dudes in your phone, you know, all of that crap wasn't going on with us. So there was trust. And we both knew where where we both stood they, it, you know we truly loved each other and it wasn't none of that nonsense so he wasn't coming at me on some what you bring to the table as if he's in competition with me and a lot of times but when i hear men I when i hear men say stuff like that to me it's because they just want to look down on some yeah. woman to me that is a very in my, weak in my man. head i'm like what you need something like what yeah. you mean like what that you, sounds like a struggling? very it's a weak man to are me. you struggling that sounds like a very weak man and you know a lot of men will probably feel like yo what you talking about but i just think it's weak it's I just very don't want weak. no lazy woman, blah, 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 like. Whatever, dude. I don't want no whining and complaining man. Get out of my face. And it, let's say if your woman's a stay-at-home wife. I was a stay-at-home wife for a while, and I was far from lazy. Because who cleaned the house? Who took care of the kids? Who cooked? Who washed his clothes? Who also typed up his resumes when he was checking, changing jobs? Who paid the bills? I did. If I didn't do it, God damn it, we'd be in the dark. You remember? I was there like that one time. That time the fool, he forgot to pay the goddamn light bill. <laughs> I tried to give him the opportunity. I can do it. And what'd he do? Forget. 
You understand? But everyone plays their role. Everyone has their role in every marriage. Every marriage is different. But the bottom line is, when it comes down to it, you men need to be okay with being men. Stop trying to put down pieces of being a man. So I want this part of manhood, but I don't want this part. Yeah, I want to be a man and I want to have a wife or I want to give me a woman. But you know the thing is, I'm trying to go Dutch with you. Mm -hmm. You're not going like, Dutch with you. If you want me. to put all of these extra, you know, responsibilities and stuff on the female and stuff like that, that's fine. But just accept that we are the superior <laughs> gender. Ex accept that. If you, if because a lot of dudes, they feel like, no, like men or whatever, but a woman, she's supposed to be strong. You're supposed to hold your dude down. You're supposed to do this. You're supposed to take care of your kids. You're supposed to make sure your family's straight. You're supposed to do all of this stuff. And you're supposed to be, I'm every woman. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Doing everything. So if you really believe that and you think that your woman is supposed to keep you from all hurt, harm, and danger as if she's God, just... Please acknowledge the fact that women are superior. Because <laughs> you need so much. But let me tell you something. <laughs> you, better, you better have some money. You better have some money making all these damn demands. But some, a man that has money ain't about to be making all them damn demands. No. And even if a man doesn't have a lot of money, a man who is secure with him, within himself is not about to be running around here looking for some woman to shape, make, and mold him and make him feel like a man. You a man or you're not. You know how I made my husband feel like a man? Anytime he felt like, anytime I saw him faltering, I said, hey, you a man, right? And he go, you know, hell yeah, I'm a man. All right, then. Get right. Because I ain't married no chump. I ain't married no clown. Because if I did that, that makes me a damn clown. Mm -hmm. And we can't be clowns in these streets together. Hell no. Mm -hmm. Somebody got to make sure we right. Yeah. <laughs> And that's, that's how you hold your man down. Exactly. That's how you hold him down. You make sure he don't slip up and become no clown in these streets. And you stupid men, that's how you hold your woman down. When she points out to you, hey, get right, you're supposed to say, my bad, and sit the F up straight. Exactly. Get the hell out my face. Go in Dutch. My ass. And I also just feel like being able to have that type of, you know what I'm saying, like connection or whatever, like I can tell you that you slipping, you can tell me that I'm slipping or whatever, and everybody's, you know, open-minded and everything. That kind of leads for like a lot of, you know, bomb chicka wow wow, because it's like, yo, we, we really here. Exactly. I feel close to you. You know what I mean? Tell me, my husband would look at me, he'd be like, <laughs> you know, you are so, I love you, girl. God, I love you. I know. Go, go to work. <laughs> we'll talk later. <laughs> You about to be late. Yeah. You know how many times I'll be like, here's your lunch bag. <laughs> Love you. Get in the car. Get to work, please. Thanks. Because the lights got to stay on. We can't play those games. <laughs> I'm the practical. I'm a, we got to keep these lights on. Because I'm not I'm not with that whole being in the dark and being homeless and being evicted-ish. No, I can't. Yeah, I, nah. I, she's high. She's, she's actually, I'm not with that whole, I don't have all my cable channels. I need, I need all, my I need cable every, channels. I need please. every channel. <laughs> Thank God for my husband because he made sure we had our cable. Our Cinemax, our goddamn Showtime, our goddamn HBO Stars Encore. I think the only one we didn't have was TMC. TMC yeah. But the main thing is, you know, <laughs> listen, just things I needed, like, and I needed SoapNet. I don't know what the hell happened to the SoapNet channel. That's really dis disturbed me. But that, you know, whatever. But, you know, be a man. However, you are a man, be a man. Oh, who said that? Mulan, right? Be a man with all the strength of the raging fire. Be a man. With all the strength of the something, something. Be a man. With all the something, the Don't something, know the words, right? something. <laughs> mysterious as the dark side of the moon. For real though, be a That's man. A be a man. Be a man. Be a man. And don't ask no chick to go Dutch. Okay, the other thing, don't ask no female what she brings to the table. Because if you ask any of those two things, you're looking like a clown in these streets. You look like you need help. And don't no woman want no man that need all this help. Anyway, I think that's it, right? I guess so. I'm Jazz. No, Brit. And YCWAO. Deuces.